Thank you, Madam Chair and members of the committee for the opportunity to testify. My name is Scott Shamblin, and I'm representing the people of Agape Kingdom Fellowship and the growing number of our state's pro-life youth voters. I am testifying in strong support of House Bill 1079. You and I have the benefit of history. We can look back at just about any point in time and we can go and learn from it. And as we all know, those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. When we see the horribly graphic photos of the piles of bodies of the murdered Jews being bulldozed into ditches or the depictions of malnourished, brutally beaten slaves, we would all say, if I were a guard in Nazi Germany, I would have defied my orders. I would have fought to free the slaves. The only reason these wretched, vile chapters of history were allowed to be written is because the victims were dehumanized and the public began believing that the victims of each of these atrocities were merely animals. Rodents, three-fifths human, which obviously is not true. It is the slave owner's position that black people were not developed enough to be treated as human beings and therefore could be bought and sold like animals. People looking at a baby in the womb have the view that the child is not developed enough to be treated as a human being and therefore can be killed whenever it may be convenient for the mother or in many cases also the father. This violates the fundamental principle of our way of life. The Constitution does not say we must be developed, but rather that we are created equal and endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights. As of 2015, more than 19 million black babies have been aborted since 1973. 78% of abortion facilities run by Planned Parenthood are in or near black dominated communities. This affirms the eugenicist Mark, Margaret Sanger's goal of thinning out the less desirable black population. Sanger is the founder of Planned Parenthood. Of the Holocaust, dehumanization of black people and many other similar events, how is this any different? This is merely a result of not recognizing a fellow brother or sister's personhood. With slavery, there were those who wanted to regulate slavery, but it's, the, it's only the abolitionists who wanted to completely abolish slavery who are now re re remembered as heroes and the only ones who did the right thing. Colorado Right to Life has started a new movement which is going to reward Colorado representatives who support the right to life for all humans and will hold local representatives accountable who vote in support of killing babies in the womb. We are going to actively support and campaign for those who support bills such as this one, which would end abortion in our state and we will actively campaign against and raise significant awareness to expose those who vote against bills that protect the lives of innocent babies as we do not believe their political careers should move forward. That is all.